Hi everybody, today I'm going to review the AirCat AirTool uh, die grinder model 6260. This is uh, brand new for this year, I'm pretty sure. And actually, I got one of the first batches of it. It has 20,000 RPM free speed, so obviously when you use it, it kind of lowers uh, the speed as you put more force on it. Uh, and um, I'm not going to keep it for just really two reasons. It's actually a really nice tool, but my reasons are, you know, personal. You could might as well say, hey, that's not good reasons and this is a good tool for me. So uh, this is why I'm reviewing it. So you have all the information. So uh, I already used it. Uh, I wrapped it up and before I return it, but I thought I might as well put a video for it because there's literally none on YouTube. So let's uh, let's start. So inside you're gonna get the tool in a nice bag. You're gonna get the two tools that uh, come with it. You're gonna get a manual and our sort of certification of uh, that it passed some tests and. Uh, uh, this is it and as you can see I got number eight for 2019 and this is brand new for 2019 pretty sure now um, it's nicely made I mean I really like air cut tools I have at least uh, I think I have at least two of them and they always make good products uh, the, the reason I like them is that they, uh, you know, they make good products. So keep doing good products and we'll keep buying your stuff. Now, um, uh, one thing I will say, it doesn't have uh, like a, um, a button that you can lock the spindle here. So you do need to use two uh, tools for it. Let me tell you why I don't think I'm going to keep it. One is that it's very hard to modulate the speed. There's very little movement here. Another thing is, is when, uh, say you drop it or something, it could actually literally start by itself if it hits something because there's no locking mechanism. And I'll show you what I mean. I mean, most tools will have, you know, something like this, you know, where you could just, press it and for example this one has way more travel that you can modulate the speed so this uh, this is a little different because it has a 90 degree angle and the air cut air cat is straight so it depends what you need usually when you have a straight one uh, it loses less power on you know making the bend with the gears uh, because there's less loss of uh, friction etc so let me show you how this thing works i'm going to put some force on it when i uh, sharpen the mower blade and uh, i'm going to show you that it pretty much is uh you know you, you can't really stop it if you have a good compressor now i do have a good compressor i have a dewalt that produces six sc FM, uh, which I believe stands for um, square something, something, something. I will put on the screen what it means, but it's a volume of air that it could s continuously produce at 90 PSI. Now, uh, when you dial your compressor, you have to dial it to 90 PSI while this is working. So you have it working and you dial it that the output is at 90 otherwise uh it's just going to drop below the 90 psi so uh let's uh let's get started all right so while the camera was not rolling uh, which i thought that it was i went ahead and installed this die grinder and uh it's very simple you use uh this tool to grab the chuck or the spinning part 
and then this part to grab the actual chuck that goes over the chuck. Uh, and uh, you just tighten it a little, nothing too crazy. And that's it. Now, it doesn't come with the NPT nipple, and uh, you gotta install it yourself and have one. It doesn't come included. Make sure you put Teflon tape while you put it in. Love, love, love my Knipix. And I believe, yes, you do pronounce the K. Really great tools. Okay, let's uh, connect it to the air tool. I already uh, put some oil. Uh, by the way, I do recommend using Marvel air tool oil. Really great. Uh, it comes with this nice little top nipple. Really good uh, to uh, drip a few inside. Uh, now make sure you use some ear protection and uh, eye protection. Now, I do prefer the angle grinder, but it really depends on your work. So, uh, yeah, let me show you. So, as you can see, modulation-wise, I mean, you could, but it's either, it's either off, halfway or just going on. There's really no, there's no easy way to put it in between. So really, just like two speeds, so uh, uh, yeah, let me uh, let me uh, go ahead and start uh, grinding this to sharpen it. You should really do it for if you have a bow. Uh, it, it's pretty much impossible to stop this thing. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate it. It's a nice tool. Uh, I do prefer a different tool, which I just showed you. I may do a review for that. And it comes with a complete kit. Uh, so I'm going to link it in the description for this tool, everything you see here, actually. And uh, hopefully this uh, helped your purchasing decision. If you like this video, please, please, thumb up subscribe and i will catch you in the next video till next time bye